boy cabins have not all except for one. I think most of you gentlemen have your own camper. Either way, it is a very, very difficult job because you're not just taking care of you and one, you're taking care of you and one and two and three and sometimes six. Graduation is always, you've got to bring the tissues and the waterproof mascara for that one. Um, but what I think is so cool about graduation is that it kind of symbolizes um, the pass, it's like a rite of passage for our campers. You know, a lot of them have been coming here for years, and this is kind of their time to shine and kind of say, you know, like, I made it, I beat cancer, but I also was able to come to camp every year. Um, and then a lot of times they get to return as companions, so that's really cool. The graduation ones, those are hard. The graduation ones, because even if they are coming back as companions, it's a different role. And so you, it's, it's a big step, but it's bittersweet. I get to go sleep in my own bed, so that's exciting, but I'm gonna miss all my camp buddies. Joe F. Alan M.
H. Your quality graduated class of two thousand nineteen. Let's kids be kids again. Like, that's all it, they're going through needles and treatments and appointments, and this is the one week they don't have appointments, they don't have treatments. They may have medication, but they get to be a kid. Just let them have fun. Camp needs to keep going. <laughs> should continue because it brings joy and happiness to everyone that volunteers and that is here. Um, really, to, it'd be kind of crazy to just say that it's for the kids because, I mean, ultimately that's what we're here for, but um, it's amazing to see the support um, that the community has for this organization as well. I couldn't imagine my life without this camp. I literally tell everyone, like, I from Colorado now, or I live in Colorado now, and I could not imagine not coming back to this camp. I was like, I'm gone this week, um, don't bother me, I'm going to be in the happiest place ever, I love this camp, it has to continue. It's not even, for me, it's just getting to see the kids, and getting to see them light up and be around other kids that have experienced things that they have gone through at such a young age. And, you learn so much from them, and yes, they're all are different ages and have gone through different things, but you can learn just so much from them. So that's why camp should continue to be. It has to. It, camp quality has to continue because it is, it is a sanctuary sometimes for these kids. They are not the the different kid. They're not the cancer kid here at Camp Quality. They are literally, they are Josh, they are Brittany, they are Mark. It doesn't matter. It is, that's who they are and they have the opportunity to really just be themselves and not have to worry about the, the outside stigmas or fears that comes along with cancer. We're all just here having fun. Camp is just such a special place. Um, the kids here find lifelong friendships. Um, they find kids who are going through what they went through. Um, they find courage here. Um, they find themselves, um, just being able to be around children who went through the same things. Um, and it's so special for everyone who's here and just the relationships that are created here. Uh, simply as our motto, let kids with cancer be kids again. The whole point of camp is to make sure that these kids don't miss out on anything and realize that they're not alone through this process. There are so many people that have experienced the same thing and there's so many people that care about them and are going to be here through the whole journey. And so we say it all the time, but we really are a family here at Camp Quality. We have our companions, even if it's not their camper, that go out to their sporting events, go out to their plays, their choir concerts, things like that. We interact throughout the semester. It's not just a week-long thing. We see each other at the, the events held by Camp Quality throughout the year. And so it is really just a support system, both for the campers and the companions. It's so nice to know that no matter what, if 
I was ever in need, I have an entire additional family to my family that would be there to assist me if I need it. But um, camp should continue just, again, because of the opportunities it gives everybody. I mean, you know, there's really no place else, you know, to my knowledge that can, you know, provide the same experiences to kids going through what they're going through in the way that camp quality does. There's just there's nothing else like it. I couldn't imagine my childhood or really getting to where I am without it, you know, in retrospect, this place did so much more for me than I probably could have ever foreseen. Social skills and just you know making the best out of my illness and you know I'm hoping that as a that companion I can provide that sense of, of just finding my way um, to somebody else. It's kind of cool. Camp should continue because I don't know what I would do without camp. Um, I mean, like I said, this is my favorite week of the year, um, but it's just. We watch these kids grow, not just you know over the years as they physically get older and they physically change, but we watch them change from the day they get here to the day they leave. And I mean, I've heard parents say that their kids, you know, come back different. Like they come back better, and like, and not just the campers. I mean, I come back better. I I learn things from these kids, and I think it's just so inspiring to watch these kids just so free and so um, not held back by anything, um, not held back by cancer. And they're here um, and gives them a great escape and here like everyone knows everyone here has camper or has cancer but it's not a problem like it's not a thing here I mean this place is a life changer for many people um, definitely it was a life changer for me it brought me so much hope when I was going through treatment and brought me a whole new family of people you know um, I also think that it's just a very special place where these kids can just be themselves for a week whenever they feel so different in the, just in the world. And this is a place where they're normal and everybody loves them. And like I said, it's just a family. I think camp should always continue because we offer this amazing service, not just to the kids, but to the families. Over the last uh, couple years with the four different campers I've had, and then a couple of my girls from my dorm. I've been able to reach out to those families and go with them when they're having a struggle at the hospital and just be a, a supporting person to the bombs while they're going through these different things. And it's, honestly, when I sat through a first uh, chemo session with one of my campers' families, I went home to my own mom because her situation was so similar to my mom's and I just cried and I held my mom and I said, I don't know how you did what you did. And all of our cancer moms are so strong. But being able to be that person to sit with them in the hospital and you know just tell them it's okay and hear their fears, talk to them about those situations and just have a sounding board. You know, be that sounding board for them when they're scared. I think that's the best thing camp offers to our families. And then for our kids, it's that situation of being surrounded by other kids that are just like you. I know some of our boys that are now from little boys to big boys, they have such a great bond that they find each other outside of camp and they will never, I don't think they'll ever let go of each other.